Well, let's get some definitions going, first of all. I prefer to call it conjuring, because magic would be controlling nature by means of spells and incantations, and uh, I've tried spells and incantations. They don't work. You've got to use tricks, you see. So uh, conjuring is approximating the effect of what would be a genuine magic miracle of some kind. So uh, with that definition in mind, I got interested in magic. I was one of those unfortunate kids who was a child prodigy. And believe me, that is an unfortunate circumstance. I had a very unhappy time of it when I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. And uh, I stayed out of public school because I didn't need it. I was self-educated. And so I uh, took a trip to the Casino Theater on Queen Street in Toronto, Canada many, many years ago. Just a little guy about so big, I guess I was about 12 or so at the time. And I saw a magician. Oh, man, that got my attention. I figured uh, maybe that's something I could know something more about. Up until then, I was going to be a chemist or an archaeologist, one or the other. I didn't know. But uh, archaeology and chemistry lost me to the art of conjuring. And uh, I immediately took it up and um, learned a few things, and here I am. Well, the, the magician I saw at that theater on uh, that Wednesday afternoon matinee was Harry Blackstone Sr. Uh, rather short gentleman, dressed in tails with bushy white hair and a bit of a lisp. He spoke like this, more or less. And uh, he was wonderful. He was a giant. He was a, he was a well, either a demon or a, an angel. I wasn't quite sure. But he could do wonderful things, and that really got my attention. And from then on, I started to meet the other people in the, in the business, uh, all the way up to Blackstone uh, Jr., who was his son, who took over the, the trade after his father died. And both of them are now deceased, unfortunately, and I miss both of them. Mm -hmm.